So I have water coming up out of my air gap. So some of the first things I checked was I was needed to see if my drains were draining well or draining good. And this side of the sink is draining fine. And the side of the garbage disposal is draining fine. I turned it on just to make sure it was clear. And everything here looks good. I uh, also came under the sink and down here where the trap's at, I took this trap off and I checked it out. Everything in there was clear too. All right, so here's my drain overfill or my air gap and something in there is clogged up as you can see. So as the dishwasher is draining the water out, the water is running flow and I'm getting back flow through here. So I'm gonna go in and look at to see what could be causing the situation and go over a few things. Let's see if any more comes up here. Oh. So it has a slight clog somewhere. So I'm gonna take a look into things and show you what I find. I'm gonna check the air gap, so I'm gonna take off the cap first. Once I get the cap off, I can look to see what's happening up here. Right here, there's a tab on this side, the near side, and on this side, the far side, there's another tab holding it in. Uh, and that will take off this whole cap right here. So I'm gonna see if I can get that off. Place this right here. Push this tab in on the near side, good, and the far side, good. All right, pull that up. And right there are the tabs I was pushing in to be able to clear it from this piece here. All right, so now what it looks like, see if there's anything clogging it up. Uh, it doesn't appear that there's anything. This side right here, this is where the dishwasher, this is the hose that the dishwasher pumps the water in to the air gap. Uh, when this cap sits on the top of it, it just keeps the water, of course, within the air gap and it pushes the water out here and then it drains down around here and it goes out the other, out to the garbage disposal on this side. And so there's that part of that and everything looks clear in there. I'm not seeing any obstructions. So I will go under the sink and see what's next. Right here's the bottom side of uh, the air gap. Air gap, sorry. The hose on the right is the, from the dishwasher into the air gap. And the hose on the left right here is where I believe I have my clog from the air gap back down into here right into the garbage disposal and I believe this is where I have my backup in this hose here they do make pipe brushes for this unfortunately at the hardware store I went to they didn't have any pipe brushes um, that were they just didn't have any pipe brushes the ones I was looking for. So I'm gonna try to do this a different way. I'm gonna go ahead and take this connection off and show you what it looks like on the inside to show you what that pipe brush cleans out. All right, so I'm gonna take this hose off. I'm gonna be very careful with it because that way I don't crack any of the parts going into the garbage disposal because I don't want to replace the whole garbage disposal so I'm going to be as careful as I can be break the seal there and might need to loosen this up a little bit more okay hopefully that's loose enough 
some water will probably come out of here. Got that popped a little bit more. Have a cup underneath, have towels ready just in case. And there we go. Sorry, my arm was in the way of the light. So I'm draining the hose right now into, you see there was some water in the down part of the hose or the lower part, but here is that, this thing's bouncing all over the place. Alright, so now that I have that part off, you can already see without me moving the camera how much gunk is in this. So with that pipe brush, that is the stuff that you would be pushing out. And I'll get a better view on it here. You can see all the goop in there. See how clogged up this is. See how that how much stuff is in there clogging that up. Alright, this is a pretty tight spot, but here's a better shot of all the crud going from the dishwasher hose into the garbage disposal. And that's what the pipe brush would be cleaning out. And here is a picture of the hose coming from the air trap into the garbage disposal. So they both are fairly clogged up. So hopefully cleaning this out will solve the problem of water coming back up through the air gap. All right, so when re re attaching the hose to the garbage disposal, I get it pushed back on, being careful again. And then as you tighten the hose, just make sure you don't over tighten and crack your adapter going to the hose because then of course you'll be replacing your whole garbage disposal and that would not be very fun so just I'm just gonna put it on as a snug fit and then I'll check it for leaks as I use the garbage disposal disposer and go from there because I don't want to over tighten it or break anything all right so it, I went to the store and I couldn't find the pipe brush so I found some materials around the house that I could try to make my own makeshift one and hopefully I just got some copper wire, twisted it together, made it long enough so it would come out. I saw the wire itself come out here. So now I'm going to try to actually, I tied an old t-shirt around it uh, just to see if I could get it through. So it could get stuck and who knows, could cause more damage. So. If you can, get the pipe brush. If not, well, then you could try this. And if it gets stuck, then you may have more work to do. So I'm gonna start by putting it in this part right here. See if it gets in there first. There it goes. And then, start pushing it through I had already gotten the copper wire to push through so this is the first time trying it with with did you see that stuff come out of there there it is so it pushed uh, I know it pushed some gunk out of there I saw it come out if you look at that let's see can you see it in there there it is right there. It's got a lot of nice, juicy, gunky stuff on it. And there goes some more. So I'm gonna just push it through a few more times. Get it nice and get it as cleaned out as I possibly can. And, and up here, look, it came back out. And it's all in one piece. So that was a do-it-yourself method. And hopefully that cleared out the drain enough or the, the 
hose enough to let it drain the next time we run the dishwasher. Hopefully this video helped you guys out and now you know how to make something yourself if you can't find one at the store. Alright, after using the pipe brush, don't forget to re attach your air gap parts. I don't know what the technical parts of them are, or terms, sorry. Uh, don't forget to put the cap back on so your water doesn't just spray out on you and the cover over that. Okay, so here we are on a drain cycle. And so far so good. No water's coming back up through the air gap. So it's looking like the clog in the hose. Looks like the fix worked. So far so good. Everything's looking good still. Alright. No water's coming back up. Looks like all that gunk. Looks like I got enough of it pushed out to not have any water coming back up through the air gap. So that's a good thing. So hopefully this video helped you and thank you for watching and have a good day.